All right, y'all, so let's talk about Ben Simmons because right now he's blowing mine. As a 76ers fan, I've seen for the better part of his career what his productions look like, and he hasn't got any better. It's not just my opinion, actually, though. Just in general, he hasn't got any better. He's actually regressed pretty much every year in his career. You think I'm joking? In 2018, which is his second year, he averaged 17 points per game. 2019, he averaged 16.4 points per game. 2020, that goes down to 14.3 points per game. And now in 2022, after going on a two-year hiatus, now his average point per game is 7.5. 7.5 let me remind y'all this was the number one pick this dude is 6 11 and he's averaging seven points per game let me read y'all his stats in the past couple games i don't even gotta go into any other stat i'm not worried about rebounds assists i don't care about none of that if you're playing over 20 minutes a game in the league on a consistent basis i don't want to hear anything about these other stats and those aren't even that amazing but we'll get to that in a second but in the past couple of games his points have been zero points Four points, six points, seven points, four points, two points, ten points, and four points. This is just a sad stretch of games. Ben Simmons is taking no jump shots, and his average field goal percentage for this month is still 43.5%. Can you imagine being a number one pick and missing half of your layups? It, it, this stuff is ridiculous. But again, people are going to say I'm a hater just because I'm a 76ers fan. Ben Simmons is not that dude, and we already seen that. We've seen that since the Hawks. The, ser the 76ers series a couple years ago against the Hawks where the Hawks beat Ben Simmons when Trey Young exposed him in his quote-unquote all-team defense. You feel me? Like, his defense obviously is not enough to make up for his offensive deficiencies. And that was showed all throughout his time playing with Joel Embiid. And you could say that I'm a hater against Ben Simmons, and I promise you I'm not. I would like to see him do well. I cheer for him. When he first came in the league, I would like to be right about my predictions about him. However, he just keeps failing me over and over again. He's not improving on anything in his basketball game. This is his, how many years has he been in the league? How, how many years has he been? We're about to check this right now. This is his fifth year in the league. Oh, my fault. This is his fifth season playing. If he actually played off his games, this should be his sixth year in the league. Two of those seasons, I'm talking about his rookie season and and the, not this season, but the season before that, last season. In those two seasons, he had almost a full off season to work on his game and nothing has improved. His shooting hasn't improved. His free throw percentage hasn't improved. Heck, even, <laughs> even the basic metrics, like even the, the metrics that he brags about, like rebounding, assists, blocks, Deals. All these numbers went down every single year. So again, where's the improvement coming from? Where all these people that are still defending him? Why? We should be past the point of looking at him as a number one pick. And now we need to look at him for what he is. He's in his sixth season in the league. He's showing us who he is at this point. And that's an average player. He's not an all-star in my opinion. At all. He doesn't elevate the game of other players on his team. Yes, he does have other skill sets besides scoring like passing like defending but is that enough to make him a max paid player is that enough to call him an all-star is that enough to call him a superstar because to me as the days keep going on and on he's looking more like a bust to me and you look at his stats on paper and it, and and some people will be like well look at his averages oh he was an all-star stuff like that they'll bring up certain things or they'll bring up well he was on that 16 team that went that was one shot away from the playoffs when they lost to Kawhi Leonard at the buzzer however you can still make an argument he wasn't even the top three player on the team. You can make a strong argument for that. Joel Embiid, Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, J.J. Redick. I'm not sure if he even belongs in the top four. That season, I will say J.J. Redick was more important to our team than Ben Simmons. Some people are going to disagree with me, but being a, being a person who watched every seven, almost every 76ers game throughout the season, that's what I believe. J.J. Redick stretched the floor, whereas Ben Simmons collapsed the floor and made it just harder for Joel Embiid in general. He made Joel Embiid work two times harder because he refused to take jump shots. He's scared to go to the basket and attack because he can't make any free throws, and he knows that. Literally, the Hawks, the way that they won that series is they decided to just keep fouling Ben Simmons because Ben will shoot at the free throw line, will shoot the Sixers out of the game. And it's not like his defense on the other end made up for him, made up for it. Trey Young, John Collins, these dudes were trashing him. Like, 
John Collins and Trey Young were torching him that series. Even when he switched off ball, they were torching him. So all this talk about his elite defense, him being one of the best defenders in the league, I don't want to hear that. Him averaging 7.9 rebounds over his career, I don't want to hear that. He's 6'11". He's 6'11", consistently playing 25 plus, most seasons 30 plus minutes per game. 8 rebounds a game isn't hard to do. 7.6 assists, I mean, that's cool and all. When you're a point guard, you're supposed to be able to pass the ball, you feel me? But if you can't do anything else besides that, then what does that help? Even dudes that struggled back in the day, like point guards I think of, taller point guards that struggled to shoot back in the day, I'll think of like Sean Livingston, Ray John Rondo, dudes like that. But even those dudes, even though they knew they couldn't shoot, they would at least try to attempt some shots and even when they weren't shooting jump shots they would attack the rim like they didn't care rondo was attacking the rim he was getting to the free throw line yes he wasn't a good free throw shooter but he would he wouldn't stop attacking he would keep up the intensity ben simmons i don't see having this same intensity as these other dudes and again it'll be different if we saw some slight improvements it's like okay he's coming into his full form but it's been six seasons and we still have yet to see Ben Simmons come become the player that everybody said he was going to be from day one. You look at a dude like Giannis who came into the league about the same time as Simmons. Giannis didn't come into the league being able to shoot and now teams have to respect him. They have to guard him from at least the free throw line and Giannis can still knock down the occasional three when he needs to. That's all about work ethic and I think that's the story of Ben Simmons career. The things that he lacked in are all fixable. Those are things you can work on. You can't fix athleticism, which is something that he has. He, he, he has natural born athleticism. He has natural born height, natural born length, natural born reaction. That's why his defense is so good. However, his lack of work ethic is the reason why he struggles in every other area. Why he struggles to get better at free throws despite him being in the league so long. Right now, he's shooting 41% from the free throw line, which is his career low. After six seasons, even going back to his Philadelphia 76ers days where he refused to work with the 76ers personnel throughout the offseason because he wanted to work out with his brother, stuff like that, it kind of makes me feel like, man, he doesn't put, Ben Simmons, I feel like, cares about being more of a celebrity than actually a basketball player. He's not dedicated to being a basketball player. He's just trash. And, and even on Brooklyn, in a time where KD's out and it's supposed to be his time to shine, he just can't get it done. The team's not elevating. He can't take that load, not even as the second best player. I'm not even sure he could do it as the third best player because he's not doing much when Kyrie and Katie's in the game. So what's Ben Simmons place in his league? Because right now his contract is ridiculous. Let me pull up his contract. He has a contract of five years, $177.2 million. And right now it looks like he's still gonna get paid all the way through the 2024 to 25 season. And in that season, he's going to be owed $40 million from the Brooklyn Nets. So the Nets are paying $40 million a year for a dude that's averaging single digits, seven points per game, $40 million. You can't make this stuff up, y'all. You can't make this stuff up. Ben Simmons is mid, and I think we just need to accept it. Now, do I think his career is over completely? No, I do not. I think he found a situation where he can find a good fit. There's not too much pressure on him to be that guy. He's able, he, he'll be able to keep working on his defense while Kyrie and Katie carry the load. But at some point, you got to look at it like, man, he complained about the confidence in Philadelphia. He complained about the coaching in Philadelphia. He complained about the fans. Then he goes to another big market like Brooklyn, where New York fans are not going to be any nicer than Philadelphia fans. I'm sorry to break that to you. But he goes here. He claims that he still has to get adjusted mentally. He's playing now, and he's playing not any better than his rookie season, to be honest. He's not playing any better than his rookie season. Playing worse, I might add. He's playing worse in every statistical category. In his rookie season, he had 15.8 points. Now he has 7.5, which is cutting that in half. He has two less assists per game. He has two less rebounds per game. His free throw percentage went down 15%. And of course, he's still not taking threes. Again, it's just like, dude, even I think another aspect of his game that hasn't been talked about enough, too, is his durability, his availability. I mean, after his, his rookie season, he was excellent. He only missed one game, played 81 games. Season two, he played 79. Consistency, right? 
wrong. Since then, he's in in the 19 to 20 season, he played 57 games. After that, 58 games. Missed a whole nother year, a full season. And then this season, he's played 31 games so far. So again, I'm not sure where Ben Simmons goes from here. I'm not sure. Where the, I'm not sure where the Brooklyn Nets go from here. As a professional athlete getting paid 40 million, 35 to 40 million dollars a year. If your mental health problems are so egregious that you can't perform on a high level, then maybe you shouldn't have been the number one draft pick. Maybe you shouldn't be getting paid 40 million dollars to play basketball, because that's just what comes with it. Pressure is what comes with playing in a city like Philly. A city that backed you up for four to five years while you refused to develop any type of jump shot or show any improvement in your three-point shot. But again, every year we see the same off-season shooting videos. He's never going to do them in-game, but of course we're going to see them videos circulating online every off-season. No real work is being done. Ben Simmons thought that because of his height, because of his natural athleticism, probably been coddled his whole life. We saw at LSU how he's missed out on a lot of time in LSU because he felt like it. And now he's in the big boys league, now he's in the NBA, where being 6'10 is not rare. Having natural athleticism is not rare. Talent isn't always enough, and Ben Simmons just starting to realize that. But I'm not sure, if, again, it's not too late for him, but he gotta get it together. Sixth season, fifth season playing, and he still don't got it together. Get it together, Ben. You're not looking like the number one pick from the draft. It's official. Like We could write it in the record books. The Sixers made a mistake when they drafted Ben Simmons. Y'all can quote me on that. I hope he proves me wrong for the sake of the Brooklyn Nets and just for the sake of any future point forward that comes into the league. I appreciate y'all for watching Teflon Pipe next.